everybody welcome to Booster Jeans Riders I'm Rich and I'm Kay today we're going to show you how to do sharp right turns from a stop we can get into left turns also but most people can do the left turn but we find in new riders and even some experienced riders having problems making sharp right turns from the stop some of the problems are not turning a wheel not looking exactly where you want to go Another problem is, and probably the main problem, is too much throttle and not picking those feet up quick enough. What we have here is a T section and it's six feet going into six feet. You can make it shorter or larger as you see fit. The reason we're doing six into six is because the average lane on American highways is 12 feet so we just cut it in half to six so we're gonna walk through it right quick to jump on the bikes and go through everything that we walk through now as you can see as Kate going down she's on the left hand side and that's six feet and when she stopped this is what we want to do this is where a lot of people making pro having problems making that turn the first thing that they don't do is they don't look down as far as possible and they don't turn their wheel and they don't lift their feet lift your foot <laughs> so we're going to cover those right quick and do a demonstration on as we're on the bike doing it so stay tuned okay i'm on the bike keep going over there to set up to catch it from this angle and i'm gonna catch it from the helmet cam and what i'm gonna do is get close and talk about a few things and then we're gonna roll it so obviously as you come in to do your stops one thing you don't want to do is be this far over to the right because you see if I even if I tilt and I start turning my rear wheel will hit that it's called rear rear wheel cheat just like truck drivers when they turn in making the sharp turns they rear wheel go over the curve if they don't know what they're doing same thing here so you definitely don't want to start on the right side when making sharp right turns so I'll back up and go over to the left side and run through it right quick now this is six and six as you're doing this you can spread it out farther and farther because you have 12 feet per lane to play with but this will get you doing sharp turns so if you need to and the scariest thing about sharp turns is with vehicles coming this way you got to get out there quickly so you get up quick as possible I to stop Put my wheel in full lock. I can get a little closer if I need to. Full lock. I'm looking to my left, making sure traffic is clear. And then when I get ready to go, I am going to roll on the throttle, lift my feet up at the same time. What's going on with my right foot is out with my bike leaning just a little bit. If you got a big bike, don't lean it too much or just use your left foot on the right peg, on the left peg. So it's leaning and it's forward. Just in case I don't pick it up immediately. I don't have to worry about it going all the way back and getting ran over by my tire. Cake, okay, get over that way a little bit. So as I move, as I move, come closer. It's a GoPro. Come closer. As I move, <laughs> as I move, she should be catching me picking up my left leg immediately as I started to give it throttle. So it's clear to my left. I'm looking down as far as I want to go. Bike lean, full lock throttle lift foot up immediately and then go and continue to continue on now obviously if you're on the street you want to continue on quicker so I'm going to show you the difference between a roll through compared to what I just done roll through basically everything the same and friction zone I'm coming coming to I'm not a stop sign it's not a stop sign rolling here look where I want to go drop the bike and continue on without going over the line okay now what I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this and the easiest way would be to go on an angle. Why would you face forward when you could turn on a right angle to make your right turn? Because think about it, there aren't any curves that's actually 90 degrees. They actually turn, just like this turning, that's how curve turn. So why would you want to face straight when you can actually start it off on an angle? So go just a little bit on an angle, and now you're halfway there. So you look into your left, everything's clear my leg is still out get my bike lean just a little bit I don't have to lean as much okay what I need to do is get on this side 
and what I, the reason I'm asking her to get on this side, that way you can see, the minute I start moving, my leg should be coming up on a peg immediately. Shouldn't be dragging right up on a peg. And I put it forward just in case it do drag. By the time I put it up, at least I'm right here and not back here getting ran over by any elements that back there. So I'm leaning. I'm looking to where I want to go. I am looking to my left, everything clear. I'm pulling out don't have to lean as hard and I complete my turn just that simple so when you're doing this go down and practice it at a 90 degree angle for one time then move it out and make it like a real curve now going to the left is extremely easy but the problem a lot of riders have is we give it too much throttle so now if I'm going to the left my danger zone is directly to my left vehicles coming after me so I do not want to cross that danger zone just to rush out there so I'm looking to my left first I am worried about cars coming to my right but not as, as important as vehicles coming from my left so left is clear I turn look to the right right is clear now before I pull out I want to make sure left still clear because that's my immediate danger zone left still clear wheel tilted everything the same I pull out and I make my tight turn going to my left left is easier because you're not going to be nowhere near on a curve now what this will kill also you really want to learn how to do these things really good just in case you are in a parking lot and you're in a parking space I'm gonna have this represent a parking space and represent a vehicle on this side and a vehicle on that side so I want to just say which way I want to turn do I want to turn right or left all the principles are the same obviously a lot easier to turn left just don't over throttle take your time on the throttle and then make your left turn so there's a vehicle right here there's a vehicle right there I'm gonna do the exact thing I'm gonna pull out I'm gonna just tilt my wheel a little bit lean the bike a little bit now that I'm going to my left my right foot is actually on the brake and everything's clear no shoppers coming around I'm pulling out and I just make that turn and a minute the second that my vehicle my bike start moving my foot come up so what's going to happen next is cake going to demonstrate it once she get back suited up all geared up so cake about to come do her spot part her first try she's probably going to go rolling first yes so left she should be gassing through and there you go a nice sharp turn next time she come around she should be doing it from a stop come up she should be stopping, checking her mirrors, checking both sides. She should be tilting her wheel just before she take off. And she should be gassing through with those feet coming up as soon as she start moving. So now what I'm going to have her do is put her bike on an angle. Do it on an angle to show you how easy it becomes when you do it on an angle. So she's going to come in and kind of exactly. See how she got her bike coming up on an angle and she can make that turn. Clear on the left, look like she's ready to go. And she's pulling out on the angle. And all she gotta do is lean the bike and she's gone. And that's exactly how you perform a right turn from the stop. And that, ladies and gentlemen, represent our short turns. Right and left turns. So go in the parking lot and set up some things. That way you can have a lot of confidence when you're making those short right turns to where you won't overshoot the turn. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. Remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. We out. Peace.